Welcome to Goldcrest Valley, a guide to pigs, buying, feeding, breeding and selling with me, Mr. Silly P. If you dig the pig, today we're going to be talking pork. This is the seminar of swine. Took me ages to think those up. Anyway, we are going to be doing all things pig, from buying, feeding, breeding and selling. That's what we're looking at. So, to start us off, let's jump back over the fence here. Have a quick look in our main screen. Pigs is the middle section, as you can see. For pigs, we are looking at the productivity, reproduction rates. They produce liquid manure and manure. The cleanliness needs to be dealt with. They need water, they need straw, they need corn, wheat or barley, not both. Canola or sunflowers or soybeans. They also need potatoes or sugar beet, and the ratios for that are right down the bottom. 50% of that should be a base food like corn. 25% needs to be a grain, wheat or barley. 20% needs to be canola, sunflowers or soybeans. And 5% needs to be a root crop. So you need less of the root crop. It goes, it gets less as it goes down the list. So the main thing you're going to need is going to be corn for a start. So that's pigs. Now looking up at the top, it says pigs owned. If you watched any of my other gameplay on my Let's Play series on Goldcrest Valley Greetings, um, when I bought my pigs, I bought 21 because that's how many the trailer would fit. I have got four new that have produced, they have been born uh, into my pig enclosure, um, the pig pen, whatever you want to call it. Um, so they reproduce at quite a rate. The thing with pigs, unlike the sheep who produce wool and the cows that produce milk, the pigs don't produce anything other than themselves. That's where the money is in pigs. So, before you do anything then, buying. Yes, I already have some, but I'm still going to show you. This square here, triangle, triangle, rectangle, um, is where you bring your trailer to unload them if you don't have a trailer you can simply walk into the box and the dialogue box comes opens up open animal dialogue on the playstation 4 it's l3 and it gives me this box here the pigs are three thousand pounds dollars euros whatever you've chosen to purchase and down the bottom left it shows your farm and how many pigs you already have if you don't have a trailer if i go on to buy and click buy bottom right hand corner it says total 3200 if you don't have a trailer it charges you 200 pounds dollars or euros per animal for transport fees it does say that in the middle at the bottom a transport fee is applied if you do not transport the animals with your own animal trailer now you can also sell from here if you want to again if you don't want to buy a trailer you can do it from there it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. That would be buying pigs if you want to buy them directly at the pig pen. I'm not going to do that. I am down here at Emerson's Livestock Market. I have my truck, my barrel core, and I have my trailer. Now, very quickly looking at animals. Animals, you have got the Joskin Betamax RDS 7500 or 7500. That's the smaller animal trailer and it will transport less of the animals. I think it worked out about nine sheep it would take. So probably a little bit more for um, pigs, I would imagine. But anyway, that's the cheaper option, which I had originally, and I sold it because I wanted to buy more pigs initially. So the other option is the Michieletto AM19. That carries far more. It's much bigger, but with that one, that one can be pulled with a tractor. This one, you need either the dolly with a tractor or a truck unit, a cab. Um, that's just the way it is. So this is the one I've got now. Where am I? I am down the bottom right hand corner, the southeast corner of the map at Mary's Farm. You can see my little cursor flashing there. That's where 
Emerson's livestock market is now. Same thing here, you've got a big rectangle, not a triangle, and you can come into here, dialogue box opens, and you can buy all of your animals here. Um, sheep, uh, pigs, sheep, and cows. Same thing applies, tells you in your farm how many you've got. And if you don't have a trailer, you can buy them here and there will be a fee added. If you have got your own trailer, there's no fee added, which is marvelous. So just jump in this, start it up. Trailer, I'm gonna open the cover is rather cool I do like that gives them a bit of air during transport I'm gonna pull this into my rectangle dialog box is open again top left so click on that now it's showing a trailer in the bottom left hand corner because it's gonna put the animals into there so pigs it will take 21 sheep will take 24 cows it will only take 14 because obviously they're a much bigger beast so pigs i'm going to buy some absolutely and if you look down the bottom right hand corner there is no fee happily how many am i going to buy i'll buy 10 more i think that's going to cost me thirty thousand pounds my hard earned cash and as you can see bottom left hand corner now the right hand side of the backslash says how many I've got on my farm, 21. The left hand side of the backslash says I've got 10, I'm adding. Oh no, sorry, not the farm, uh, the trailer. How many the trailer will hold. Um, and I've got 10 out of 21. So if I'm happy with that, I hit confirm. Do I really want 10 animals? Yes, I do. And if I jump out the trailer now, and I jump out the cab and look at the trailer, my pigs are in there that one always that for some reason when it puts me in that one is always on it gets the pigs bottom anyway uh, so my pigs are in there all 10 so the next job is to get those pigs back to the farm i'll put my beacons on and off we go so here we are back at the pig farm so just back the trailer into that box and once the back of the trailer hits the box the dialog box comes up turn the engine off turn the beacon off so open the dialog box i've now got my pig's top left hand corner i've got right hand corner the trailer 10 out of 21 on the trailer left hand corner i've got the farm and how many pigs i've got on my farm already so i want to unload so i click on unload every time on the playstation anyway i click x it moves a pig from the trailer, which has now gone down to nine, into the farm, which has now gone up to 26. So I keep pressing that. My trailer now says zero. My farm now says 35. Do I want to unload them? Confirm, yes I do. And that's the pigs unloaded. So I now have 35 pigs in the pig farm. That's the first step done, buying the pigs. Easy enough. So pull this out of the way. And jump out. Okay, so step one done. Pigs bought. Don't need a trailer, but you can if you want to. And my pigs should be happily in there. So, next step. If I go down there, if I look now at my reproduction rate. It says every five hours, 5.5 to 5 hours and 52 minutes, I'll get a new animal. My next animal is now due in three hours and 37 minutes. And if you look down at all of my things, the top one there is cleanliness. Now, cleanliness, says, it also, if you go down to the middle, middle column, right at the bottom, it says animals always need water. They also require a clean feeding area. And some require straw, which these one will do. So as far as the feeding area goes this is their feeding trough and all of the animals now on fs17 make a mess all this stuff here on the floor so you can pick it up now you can pick it up with a loading wagon you can pick it up with a bucket um it really doesn't matter since up to you so if i jump in here just keep doing that turn the engine on all you have to do is over it and it will scoop it all up like so it's 
swing my tractor around and you can tip the feed back into their trough which is fine after a few minutes that will kind of recalibrate which is great so that's cleanliness dealt with next on the list is water so over here I have got the Joskin Aquatrans water bowser tanker whatever you want to call it it's not really a tanker that's normally much bigger isn't it container whatever you want to call it and you can hook up from there now I'll just go into the menu animals there we go Aquatrans 7300s 7300 litre tank say 9500 it's not too bad and that gets used across the entire map for the cows the sheep and the pigs I've got 7300 in it in the, at the moment but if you look through the gap in the trees just over there, there's a little hut just up by that hut there's one of those little water troughs with the water fountain you can fill up from there but it costs you money or you can go to one of the water sources preferably where there's an easier bit to back the tank into back the tank in and it will fill up for free so now I'm at the water trough the water trough is this side and it's come up with the unload symbol so if I unload it will take as much as it needs to feed them for six days so that's watering done go back on there and check water is now at maximum the cleanliness will reset itself it takes a little while to reset so next on that list is straw and that's for bedding so we're going to come around this side bedding has to be unloaded here in the marked area and it goes into this area here now I put a big pile of straw there and thought oh, I'll just fill it up with a conveyor belt or a bucket but it won't it will only accept it from either a loading wagon if you pull up a loading wagon it will unload from a loading wagon or from this the Coon Primor 15070M this is a bale shredder blower um, if I can get on the top of this it will hold three bales but it will only shred and blow one bale at a time so it will take whatever it needs you can even put five in here if you want to stack them up and they just drop into place which actually makes life quite easy so what I will do is back up hook up drive this into the marked area as soon as you come into the marked area it comes up with the unload symbol so if I click unload it will now blow out straw into the bedding area that's all it needed didn't quite use all of one bale didn't actually I'm gonna use about half of one bale which is quite good so I'll leave that there that will go between here and the cow farm to make sure that they all have enough bedding so click back onto the menu straw now the third one down is full brilliant now we're on to feed as you can see I have got these storage sheds this one was here originally the one over there I put in myself because you can now put crops anything on the floor and leave it there I decided rather than have it in the silos over at the main farm and come backwards and forwards I would put a bit of everything up here and my potato harvest if you saw my episode on potato harvest leasing the um, harvester I've got about a hundred thousand liters of that here which is way more because if you remember down at the bottom it says root crops only need five percent that's more than I need forever probably so I've got my corn here I've got my potatoes here over that one there the right hand one's got soybeans the left hand one has got wheat I think not barley um, it's got wheat in it so the first thing to do is corn so what I've done um, is bought up a trailer with corn in it that's just come off my field just to show you a couple of options for unloading it doesn't always have to be a bump with a bucket the fact I've got it all in the, the storage bays 
than using a bucket will be easier. You can use conveyor belts to load up trailers, all sorts of stuff. So if I be able to pull this into the unload section here, try and get as close as I can. Now with these tippers, it gives you the option to unload. Where are we? So at the bottom it says tip side. At the moment it's on back. If I change that, you've got a small grain door. Tip side left, tip side right is what I want. So now, still saying tip side right because I tipped it the wrong way the other day. Click on load and it will take whatever corn it needs. A fair bit actually. Now, what I've got left, because I'm always going to need the corn, but I can top up every now and again using the bucket on the front loader. If I bring it round to where my corn is um, stored, also got some spare bales there to fill up the bale shredder and blower, whatever you want to call it. If I back now into that area, and remember to check my tip side, I'm going to change that to actually tip side back and unload. So that will now just carry on piling up in there and gives me everything I need for a while which is fantastic turn off the engine and jump out so let's have a quick look we have now got cleanliness hasn't reset yet it does take a while we've got water we've got straw we've got corn next is wheat or barley so back into the case 1455 with the front loader wheat is in this side soybeans is on the right so just drop my bucket down and scoop into it and it should fill my bucket up like so it's not going to take all of this but doesn't hurt back round again to the feeding trough and it will fill until it doesn't need any more It took all that. That took more than I thought it was going to. Let me just check. Uh, wheat or barley. Yeah, it'll take a bit more, but that's just to show you. The wheat and barley has gone up. So, next on the list then is soybeans. So, I'll do the next two on the list. I've got to do soybeans and then I've got to do potatoes. Same process for both. You can do it by trailer from your main silo if you want to. It's a lot of toing and throwing. Now obviously looking at the size of these piles, you don't you could probably get away with putting two crops in one side and two crops in the other. I don't know if it would let you in case it mixes them. I don't know how that would work. Or you could get four of the smaller vehicle sheds, put those next to each other and have a crop in each maybe. That would probably work out more expensive actually. But anyway. So soybeans. Now one thing I have realised. I didn't take all of it. That's good. Whatever you don't use, you just tip back into your storage container, bunker, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, what I have noticed, um, obviously, I did soybeans because that was a crop I had. I keep saying soya beans, soybeans. Um, you can use canola or sunflower seeds. Really, whatever's the cheapest option will be better because you can sell the more expensive one. I chose the wrong one. I did soybeans. I hadn't done soybean before, being a console player. Got all excited and thought, oh, I'll do soybeans for the pigs. Um, it's actually worth more to sell soybean. So I've now got two fields I'm doing canola on. And I'm also going to do field number nine with sunflowers. So I will have the option to change it. So what I might do is then empty that side out, sell the soybeans and then refill it with either canola or uh, sunflower um, but anyway that's by the by so my potatoes is my last crop vegetable feed that I need to give them this won't take hardly anything because I need 5% root vegetables there you go tiny 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 amount anyway I shall leave that where it is and if you see that spot just arrived that's them making mess so jump out there Okay. Actually, that tractor's probably in the way now, thinking about it. So whilst they are eating, once they've got bedding and water and everything else, they will produce manure, which comes in here, and they will produce liquid manure, slurry, which will come into here, 
We've got 1,840 litres at the moment. Not very much, but it will alter. Checking back on the main menu. So my reproduction rate has changed. It's gone from five hours something to four because I've added introduced new animals. My cleanliness is up at 100%, which is fantastic. Um, my next animal will be there in two hours and 12 minutes, which is wonderful. Now, as far as feeding them goes, that's it. So we bought, we feed it. Breeding takes care of itself. But interestingly, of all the things you give them, will all increase their productivity. Without this water, their productivity will be zero. They need to have water, regardless of anything else. They must have water. Um, and the more productive they are, the faster their reproduction rate, and the more pigs you end up with. As I said when I first started off, I bought twenty-one. I've just added another 10, which should give me 31. But if I go into my menu, I've got 35. So I've had four that have bred in captivity. What am I breeding them for? I'm breeding them to sell them. I mean, at the end of the day, that's where the money is in pigs. So the last step of the process, I will take my truck with my trailer and I will back up back into the box now as I said before you don't have to do that you can just walk into the box and you can sell directly now that's actually something I'm going to check because if I go into the box now and open the dialog box and I go down to sell and I sell one I'll get 1200 they'll give me but they'll take off a fee for transport so I'll only get a thousand for each animal so I'm assuming then if I take them down to Mary's farm, I'll get the full 1,200 per animal. When you consider they cost 3,000 to buy, the return on them isn't massive, but they're free. Those animals that I've just that have reproduced haven't cost me anything. Other than the equipment, I guess. So I've now got my transport trailer. I've got 35. Um, four of those are additional to what I bought. So I'm going to load one two three four into my trailer i'm going to sell those four so we're now on the selling phase confirm yes i do want to load them now this is the one downside doing pigs especially for console players you know without the i think pig and beef mod you used to have this is the first time console players have had pigs so it's all very exciting and all the rest of it However, the one thing missing, and I suppose it was just too difficult for programming and, and, you know, not difficult, but the consoles wouldn't cope with it, is no animation. When you back up the trailers, it would have been nice to see the ramp go down and the pigs come out or the cows come out or the sheep go out, kind of into the pen. It's a bit kind of clinical, in trailer, out of trailer. I, I don't know. It's, it's a minor thing, but it's, it's kind of there. So, beacon on, and I'm heading back down. Southeast corner. To Mary's farm to Emerson's livestock market to sell these pigs and that will be the last step for pigs I will see you in a minute and here we are back at Emerson's livestock market so you pull into the parking area the unload area buying area open up dialogue box actually turn off the beacon Turn off the engine. Keeps doing that. Uh, open the dialog box. So now I'm here. I can go to the sell option. If I sell one, two, three, four, I'll get the full 4,800. Do I want to sell them? Yes, I do. And there we go 4,800. I will now close the cover because I have no animals in it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pigs. The seminar of swine is at an end. It was quite a long episode, um, I get that, but it kind of I tried to cover everything. I didn't just want to do feeding, I wanted to do pigs. So that is pigs, done. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. Lots of Let's Play on my channel, as there is FS15 on there as well. 
Um, if you want to leave a comment, please leave a comment. If you want to share the video, feel free to share the video. I'm also on Facebook. Screenshots appear on there, as do the links to my YouTube clips under Mr. Sealy P. Whatever you choose to do from me at Emerson's Livestock Market, thanks for watching.